That's right guys, today we got even more Roblox Funky Friday leaks to go over thanks to a couple of contributors over on Twitter and not only that, I also got a haircut too so make sure you guys smack that like and subscribe and also write the cut in the comments down below. Hopefully we get some 10 out of 10s. But yes, we did get some Funky Friday leaks over on Twitter. Firstly, thanks to Tambrush who is going to be one of the map developers and also animators for Funky Friday. He actually posted these leaks just a couple of moments ago as I was wrapping up my mini vacation this weekend. And all he posted was a green box. Terrorbrush, are you okay? Why are you posting us a green box? Actually, if you guys click on it, that's where you're going to be able to get the leak. This is what appears when we click on the mysterious green box. It seems to be a spoiler at first, but we can see several colors layered horizontally, which seems to be a hidden puzzle to solve. Primarily the colors yellow, white, green, black, and pink. And I can kind of make out some letters in the middle too. They might say obey, but not really sure though. Now I'll be honest with you guys. I have no idea what this is even going to be, bruh. At first glance, it just looks like a bunch of random colors, but we have to analyze it pretty deeply here. And also thanks to some of the help in the Twitter comments as well, we were able to find a lead to this. Ren Chisatori posted a picture of an Undertale character that kind of has that same color palette as the leak. And this character is also going to be none other than Relse. And this actually does lead to a pretty big clue as well. We've also seen a lot of people mentioning about the FNF vs. Relse mod as well. Such as saying, Relse, there you are, and Baba Boy. Relse. How dare you say that to Ralse? But yes, considering the fact that Ralse's colors do match this color palette that Tambridge did post on Twitter, I wouldn't really be surprised if they added in the FNF vs. Ralse mod into Funky Friday in this next couple of updates, possibly this third Christmas update coming up this weekend. And along with the mod, it would come with a couple of decent songs as well. The mod does come with four songs, which first includes the Fat Stick song where you go up against Rouse smoking uh, a giant cigarette. <laughs> Don't be like Garcelo, folks. Just saying. This is actually a really fast paced song and it's fun to play. Next you do have Dart and in this one Rousey starts to rap even faster and the song starts to throw more staircases at the player. Another really fun one as well, but it's very short unfortunately. Lung Failure comes after Dart and it's probably due to the smoking that Rousey is doing as you can hear them coughing in the soundtrack. Once again, don't be like Garcelo. And that ultimately leads to Nerves, which is going to be a cover from the Smoke em Out Struggle mod as well. Such a throwback, honestly. There's also a bonus that is a remix of the Rude Buster theme, one of my favorite Undertale themes from the game, so we also got that one as well. Now as for the animation, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be pumped to see Ralph Say's animation come to Funky Friday. I'm going to stop you right there. Most likely we are not going to be able to see this animation come to Funky Friday for a couple of good reasons. First, Roblox is very strict whenever it comes to smoking animations or anything regarding smoking on the platform. So there you got that one right there, like Roblox doesn't want anything to do with that at all. So Funky Friday would have to figure out something to get around that rule or maybe even make a whole new animation regarding about Ralsei as well. But for some reason, if they were actually able to add this animation into Funky Friday, it does have a huge price range because it really depends on how they attack this animation and how they incorporate it into the game as well via the multicolor arrow skins or whatnot. So yeah, we were able to get all this information just for one picture that has a bunch of colors on it. It's pretty crazy how deep analyzing can bring up more information just like that. But they could also be wrong too sometimes, as a reminder. Next up, just a couple of minutes ago, Tambrush also posted a statement on Twitter, which is going to be building up some hype for his next creation, which looks like to be another map background for the game. He stated on Twitter, if you thought the AVI map was cool, Wait until you see the next one. Whoop! 
Very spicy and detail brush. But yeah, the mouse.ava map was really unforeseen. Like none of us were expecting it to come in the last update, myself included. We did go over a couple of fan-made maps on a couple of videos, so make sure you guys check that out in the top right corner. But, but it's really unexpected to see Tearbrush come up with such a banger of a map background, especially regarding the mouse.avi mod. So I definitely can't wait to see where his next project is going to be. What do you guys think? Comment down below. You never know, maybe you might be doing something pretty new here. And now before jumping into our next Funky Friday leak, I do want to bring up something that was really funny that happened as well. It looks like I got a twin in the Funky Friday community. No cap. This is funny to bring up because Tambrush posted a picture of Julian, one of the mod developers for the Versus Imposter mod, and he put a side-by-side -side reference picture next to me as well. We both look like twins, bro! Like, I'm not even kidding about that! Like, am I actually related to Julian or something like that? Like, that's pretty insane, honestly. Though I did get the haircut recently, so honestly, I don't think we're gonna look like the same anymore. Unless he got a haircut too, which would be really funny. Alright, so let's get back on track on here once again. We did get another new map background leak for Funky Friday as well. This time posted by Vern, one of the map creators for the game. And he posted this one two days ago, right after the newest update on Funky Friday as well. But we're gonna need your help on this one because this one was pretty hard to crack. And I think I have a good idea on what this is going to be. This was what he posted. We could see a brown wooden step wall around the perimeter of the stage with a bunch of wooden structures behind the Funky Friday stage as well. It looks rustic. Kind of like it came from a farm or something like that. I actually have a pretty good idea on what this map background is going to come from. And I do think it's going to be an extremely early version of the Bob and Bowship EX newest update on the castle map. And that is going to be the background where you go up against Bob in the copycat song. If we put a side by side comparison, we can see that the brown structures could easily be the base of the bridge without the logs being added in. And towards the back, we can see a similar wooden structure with the roof and opening towards the back as well. Now, I found this one very funny because a lot of people thought that this map background leak was going to be from various mods, such as a two-town cog building, or maybe from Versus Cartoon Cat, the Terror Mod, or even from Rick and Morty. And honestly, these could all be possibilities as well as many more, but there are a couple factors why I think this may be from the Bob and Bosa mod update. Also, considering the anticipation and popularity of the Bob and Bosa mod, it's obviously going to come to Funky Friday in due time. Now I know that there was a couple of issues going on with the launch of the mod and the developers are trying to figure stuff out on their regard but and once we have the download link officially released for the mod we could definitely see this coming to Funky Friday as part of an expansion update part 3 for the mod. But with that being said, what do you guys think this map background from Vern is going to be? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's talk about it. Don't forget to smack the like, subscribe, rate the haircut as well. Hopefully you see some 10 out of 10s in the comments and we'll see you guys on the next one.